example exercise 10.8, we're going to look at how to use uh, the ideal gas law and stoichiometry at the same time. So in this problem, they give you a reaction with two um, sodium azide molecules going to uh, two sodium plus three uh, nitrogen. Um, they also give you some information. If an airbag has a volume, so they give you the volume. Um, is to be filled with nitrogen gas with pressure, so that you have pressure and you have volume, and you have temperature. So you have PV and T, and they're asking about how many grams of this solid, how many grams of this solid uh, must be decomposed. So they give me the PVT, and I always know R. The, right, the, the, the first thing you should think of is oh yeah, PV equals NRT. But that's for a gas, and all the information that they give me is for the gas. This is for nitrogen gas. It's the pressure of the gas, it's the volume of the gas, it's the temperature of the gas. So PV equals NRT. If I solved for the only thing I don't know there, which is moles, I'm going to be solving for the moles of the gas, the moles of the nitrogen. Now, the stoichiometry comes in to play here. If I know that for every three moles of nitrogen that I make, I use up two moles of the sodium azide, then I can figure out how many moles of sodium azide I have. They're not asking about moles, they're asking about grams. So how do I go from moles to grams? Molar mass. So the first step, we're going to use the ideal gas law to solve for moles of nitrogen. And then once we have moles of nitrogen, we can solve for moles of sodium azide. Once we have moles of sodium azide, we can get to grams of sodium azide. So we use the ideal gas law here. Um, PV equals NRT. So PV, there's N, that's our unknown, and so R times T. Uh, make sure you put your temperature in, in Kelvin. And we solve for N, and you get 1.69 moles of nitrogen. Uh, so then we're going to use stoichiometry to solve for the grams of sodium acid. So I start off at 1.69 moles of, of nitrogen, 3 to 2 ratio. So here we have 3, we go back to the equation, 3 moles of nitrogen for every 2 moles of sodium azide, and then, then apply the molar mass. So, so I, my moles of nitrogen cancel here. And I end up with moles of sodium azide. Um, I'm going to cancel that by moles of sodium azide per, per gram or grams per mole. Uh, and then this is how I get 30, uh, 73 grams of the sodium azide.